And for real, that's why I don't have time to apologize to conservatives for anything, anything. There will never be a thing that I feel that we should apologize to them for because we are engaged in an asymmetrical fight against people who have no real morals except for their own agenda. Right. The only thing the only time they will recognize morality is when it benefits their agenda. They are clearly hypocritical. They have no qualms with using profanity against us. They have no qualms with using free speech against us and then trying to take our free speech from us. I'm talking about Samantha B, whose show I really I've never even watched Samantha B. I don't think I've seen a single episode of Samantha B. Uh, no, I'm positive. I've never seen a single episode of Samantha B. And I honestly don't really care for her after watching the little clip that I that I watched. It seemed contrived her, her you know, actually watch. Listen to the clip. Ivanka Trump, who works at the White House, chose to post the second most oblivious tweet we've seen this week. You know, Ivanka, that's a beautiful photo of you and your child, but let me just say, one mother to another, do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless cunt. He listens to you. So even her profanity, her her vulgarity, even though she was trying to make a, a poignant point about uh, immigration policy, even her vulgarity and her profanity was contrived. Like, I don't really feel you. You know what I mean? Like when you when you cuss, you really got to drop it in a very sincere fashion. You didn't do that. So I'm not really a fan of Samantha B. I could care less if TBS get rid of her. But what I, one thing I will not do is ever apologize to conservatives, especially when they are using this free speech absolutism against us. When they want to be able to say anything they want to say to us, they want to be able to call me the N word, but don't want me to be able to call them a racist. That's why we don't have time to play games with them. And if you are a progressive or a liberal or you're woke or whatever, if you're still if you still believe that it's more important that we play nice with people who would just as soon award a family who just lost their father four dollars and they think that that's the right and moral thing to do. If you're still playing nice with people like that then you're not our ally and we don't need you. You're actually, a, you're, you're actually a hindrance. You're in the way. You need to get the hell out of the way. And so when, when Samantha B apologized for that clip, you know, that, that to me signified all the more reasons she should come off the air because she doesn't have the, she doesn't have the backbone enough to actually handle the situations we need to handle, right? Republicans, conservatives, they have no problem. Look at Donald Trump. Look at all the times he's used profanity. Look at all the people he mocked. Look at how he called NFL players uh, sons of bitches. And yet he wants to feign as though he's disappointed in Samantha B saying on Twitter, uh, quote, why aren't they firing no talent Samantha B for the horrible language she used on her low rating show? A total double standard, but that's OK. We are winning and we'll be winning for a long time to come. The double standard he's talking about, obviously, is Roseanne Barr, Roseanne losing her show this week. And this is the other game. This is the other game they play and why we don't have time to play games with them is because they're trying to conflate profanity with racism. They're trying to say that a person who used profanity is just as bad as Roseanne, who used racism, used language to attack a black woman, calling her an ape. Or from the planet of the apes. And they're so desperate to keep the power struggle in their favor. They're so desperate to keep the pendulum from ever swinging back out from their favor, because right now everything is Donald Trump is right. They are winning, but they're so desperate that they're willing or they're trying to redefine racism to mean nothing but profanity. I mean, that's their goal. They want to water down what it is to be racist so bad because they know that racism is a disease that infects predominantly conservative white people. And don't get it twisted. I know there's some there's some there's listen, I could tell you some stories about some liberals and progressives who are racist. We'll get to that on another episode. But when you talk about the overwhelming preponderance, the overwhelming uh, 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 majority of racists in America. You're going to find them perfectly fitting right there in the Republican Party. And that's why they have a goal. Their goal is to be able to say racism isn't really a bad thing. Racism shouldn't make you lose your job. You know, if somebody calls a black woman an ape. She shouldn't have lost her job. Oh, but if Samantha B uses a C word, oh, she should lose her job. That's the game that they're playing with us. The White House. The White House even came out yesterday, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. She came out yesterday and said that, uh, quote, the language used by Samantha B. last night is vile and vicious. 
The collective silence by the left and its media allies is appalling. Well, first of all, that's BS because there's so many uh, people on the left, liberals who want to be good liberals, and they're saying that Samantha B should apologize. So first of all, you're lying. But second of all, it just shows how how weak and spineless so many liberals are. But Huckabee Sanders continued. She said her disgusting comments and show are not fit for broadcast. And the executives at Time Warner and TBS must demonstrate that such expli explicit profanity about female members of this administration will not be condoned on its network. In other words, the White House, the press secretary is calling for the firing of someone who did something on their job. If you really are concerned about free speech in America, then you should ab absolutely at the, at the apex of concern be worried about the White House issuing a statement saying that an employer should fire their employee because they said something that we don't like. But it's not really, again, like I said on my other show uh, uh, earlier this week, it's not about free speech. It's about protecting their free speech and taking away our free speech. It's not about their feelings being hurt. It's about it's, it's about them being able to say anything they want to say about us and about us never being able to call them the bigots that they are. They want to be able to call us anything in the book. They want so badly to say the N word like they could taste it, but they just don't want you to be able to call them a racist. That's why we don't have time to play games with them. That's why we don't have time to try to negotiate them. We are in, a, in an asymmetrical fight where they are trying their very best. They are trying their very best to get all of the chips in their corner so that we people who are fighting for social justice, we who are fighting for uh, uh, civil rights, we who are fighting against white supremacy have absolutely no ability to speak out or call out their their bigotry. But they have every right to speak out and call out and say whatever the hell they want to say about us. That's the society that they want. And it's evident by the fact that they are willing to infringe on the free speech of NFL players, but get upset when Roseanne Barr loses her job for being a bigot. It's evident in the in the false equivalence that they made in the first place. Right. Trying to uh, uh, equate speaking out against bigotry to being the same as using bigotry and saying bigoted things. Right. It's now evident in the fact that they want Samantha B to lose her job, but they don't want Rose Roseanne Barr to lose her job. If we keep playing with these with these false equivalences, if we keep playing with them, trying to prove that we're the bigger person and we're the better person. We keep playing with them like this. They're going to we're going to wake up one day and they are going to be in power and able to destroy every liberty that we have. Some people are out here coddling racists and coddling Nazis and saying we need to protect their free speech. But once they get what they want. They have made it clear. Listen to Richard Spencer as he says that he is not really in favor for free speech. I mean, yes, I think in the short term, we would favor government regulation of speech, but long term, uh, are we even pro free speech? No, of course not. But we have to use this platform in order. So we're, we're being radically honest here. And, yes, yeah. radically pragmatic. Yes. The bottom line is this. We absolutely cannot play games with unreasonable people. We cannot be reasonable with unreasonable people at an unreasonable time, at a time where they are absolutely trying to shape society in, into, into, be, into being what it was before we ever got civil rights in the first place. They want, when they say make America great again, they mean take us back to a time when they could call us a nigger and never have any ramifications, any repercussions. And we had no ability to call them out for it. That's what they want. And so for them to do that today, all they have to do is use free speech against us. Right. So that anytime one of their people say something mean, bigoted, evil, racist, homophobic, transphobic, you know, it's OK, you know, because of free speech. But let somebody on our side of the equation who I don't even really care for. Samantha B could lose her job as far as I'm concerned. But let somebody on our side of the equation use profanity and they're going to make it as big, if not bigger than racism. In order to silence them. Y'all better stop playing games with these people, man. We don't have time for it.
We don't have time. We, we, we're in a losing battle already. And this is why people like Samantha. Uh, here's a statement. Quote, I would like to sincerely apologize to Ivanka Trump and to my viewers for using an expletive on my show to describe her last night. It was inappropriate and inexcusable. I crossed the line and I deeply regret it. No. Please. You did not cross a line. And the fact that you think you did and you issue this apology means that you're not really suited to be in the front of this battle. You know I mean, you're, you're not even a good entertainer, right? So stop using our fight as a way of promoting your show when you're not really equipped to go all the way in the fight for us. I like what Minnie Driver said. She said that was uh, on Twitter. She said this quote, that was the wrong word for Samantha B to have used, but mostly because to paraphrase the French, Ivanka has neither the warmth nor the depth. I'm done. Folks, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you Monday. Take care.